Hi, today we're going to make pancakes. Probably the best can pancakes in the world. We're going to start off by using a mixing bowl. We're going to use 380 ml of milk, two eggs. We're going to use just over 10 ounces of self raising flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, and four ounces of caster sugar. What we're going to do first is we're going to pour the egg into the bowl along with the milk. We're just going to give that a quick stir just to mix the egg and the milk together. Okay, on top of that we're going to add the dry stuff which is we're going to add the flour, the sugar and the baking powder. I'm going to use a mixer to make it this easier. until it's all nice and smooth. We're just going to stir that for a minute or so, just so we get it all nice and good. all mixed now so some people prefer now to leave that to settle for a little while and then remix it again afterwards or we can just go to the pan and we'll have a go at making one quickly Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this pan a little bit and once it gets warm we don't want to be making it really hot because we don't want your pancake to burn before it's ready. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little drop of oil in the middle and just give that a second to heat up. And then slowly, we're just going to pour a little bit of the mixture into the pan. Like so. I'm just giving it a bit of a thing around the pan to try and see if we can get it to fill up the pan a little bit. This mix should probably give you enough to make between 5 and 10 pancakes depending on how big and how thick you like your pancakes. And all I'm going to do now is just make, just wait until it starts to get a little bit hard at the edges and then we'll turn it over and cut the other side. It shouldn't take so long to cook. Maybe some ideas of the pancakes is to get some syrup, some golden syrup or honey or lemon is often a favourite. We can see that it's starting to cook now because we're starting getting bubbles in it. And we can actually get the spatula 
underneath the pancake now. I'm just freeing it up because I don't want to tear it when I pick it up. Make sure the spatula can get everywhere underneath. And then we're just going to gently turn that over and give that about another 20 seconds on the other side just until it's all hard. We want it this kind of colour all the way over. A little peek under there. Just keep getting your spatula underneath to stop it from sticking. We'll turn that over. And I think that's about ready. Now that's going to be great with a bit of golden syrup and some lemon on there. If you want to make another, again it's just copying exactly what you've done. We'll just put another bit of oil there, just to help stop it from sticking to the bottom. Again. If you wanted to, you could always add a little bit more milk to it if you want it a little bit more runny. Just trying to stretch this so it gets all the way to the sides again. And then as a taste test, we'll give these to the kids. Again, keep on trying to work the edges. We don't want it sticking to the side of the pan. We'll just wait until we can see the bubbles in the middle. Start getting the spatula underneath it again. Again, we'll turn that over. good non-stick pan is probably the key. I'm having a good pancake but have you noticed I've only got this on a medium heat. I don't want to be making it really hot and burning the pancake before it's actually ready. about ready on the other side now. Again just so it's nice to that golden colour. And there we go. We'll give them a quick try. I'll just cut off that corner there. And that is awesome. Thanks for watching.